my health starts to dwindle and not by a little and these units can start leveling and really can hit hard. Next round with intensive training. Well, I have a pack of Mustangs with an amp curve that is about to be level 4. Oops, level 5. And next round I can make them level 6, potentially level 7. <laughs> These are going to scale very hard. But at the same time, my opponent has some units here that are quite valuable and can actually scale super duper hard. Mostly, I just go into Mustangs against Phoenixes and I decide to add some Fortresses. Do I go into Enter Air? I'm not even sure. It might just be to throw something in. Ah, oh, no, yes, I, now that was my thought process. Going for Fang production and hoping that sticks. Though realistically, I think if I want to do that better next time, I should put them like here. And just have the fangs move to the front gradually instead of putting them on the front line with nothing in front to protect. My opponent is apparently feeling spicy. He goes for the quantum reassembly and also puts some phoenixes right in front. I guess he's hoping that maybe he can snipe a tower, but I don't think that's going to work as long as these arc lights stand guard. And by the time that the phoenix is reloaded, uh, we are going to see crawlers in the front. So I really don't think these are going to accomplish much. Other than, of course, ping down the fortress health from the beginning. Yeah, they are not really doing all that hot. But at the same time, like, also, they are reviving. So I guess that is a strategy. I'm just not really sure it's a good strategy. Fortress fang spawns in the end should hopefully, like... Basically, my plan is kind of to just mass him, but I don't think if you're only getting one spawn off, that is even remotely worth it. It's a lot of health, and it can potentially be good, but at the same time, it's not really working out for me. I already have no more units on this side, and my opponent has broken through. I am getting a tower, but it's too slow. I don't have the sufficient uh, number of Mustangs that I need to kill all of these. And I just get pushed by Mass Phoenix again and lose a good amount of health. Okay. Well, it's kind of panic time now. Nothing here is good for me, I think. Nothing here is good for me, I think. Even the Rhino will just die the moment he hits Elite. Actually, with these Phoenixes, he might not even need to hit Elite. It's just going to die. So I decide to use that as a cash grab. I think it's the most amount of money. Sandworm comes in a close second. But I need something that I can instantly sell. Actually, maybe Melter would have been even better. Now that I think about it. Ah, who cares. Anyway, these Mustangs, as predicted, are officially level 7. It's around 9 and it's not even going to be the end. In order to thin out the Phoenix numbers, I decide to go for some electromagnetic shot. That will prevent them from replicating. My opponent is putting a, an armor enhanced level 3 sandworm with almost 280k HP here. My plan is something that I have done previously as well. And it is to prevent the opponent uh, uh, from winning by using fists on fortresses. Once all the ground force has been eliminated, fists will be very, very, very happy just to hit a tower and win you the game. Uh, if the opponent, especially if they have a lot of air units or a lot of uh, units that stay behind the tower, like long range storm callers and really fat marksmen, that strategy can be devastating. I am intercepting a good amount, but not all of the missiles that had fire. And that is going to be terrifying into my Mustangs. These aren't level one Mustangs, but they still die somewhat quickly. Actually, the, the level 7 Mustangs didn't really care all that much. They have hit critical mass, but there is a problem here that I have not really any way of dealing with. At the same time, my units kind of get smashed. I do have EMP, and that's going to shut off the armor. But at the same time, uh, what do I even have to kill this thing now? It's kind of just too tanky. I don't have the health to deal with that. I am killing the phoenixes though. The phoenixes are going down and a lot of them aren't going to be reviving because they're hit by the EMP. Tower is going down. But at the same time there is nothing here that can kill this fat sandworm. It is EMP'd. 
I do get a tower. I do do damage to it, but it levels of all of the high level Mustangs. And the Stormcrawlers are in minimum range. Can't do anything about it. The Sandform just comes in and savagely destroys him. Ouch. Ladies and gentlemen, it is round number 10 and here is the third intensive training. Because why the F not? Intensive training number 3, at least for me, I'm not sure if my opponent picks it, I pick it just for the memes. And you know, I can level these to level 9 and then already level these to level 5. Uh, yeah. These might be some of the fattest Mustangs that I have ever seen in standard uh, games. And with standard games, I don't just mean standard plays. Although I guess in Acro, maybe the Mustangs don't really get to level all that much because they should die relatively quickly. Um, but in like 1v1, not FFA, uh, not 2v2. My opponent does add another Sandworm, although this one is only level 1. However, this Sandworm can level. He decided to level this one to level 2 instead of making this a level 4 Sandworm. A uh, level 5 cent worm. I think I would have actually preferred that, but I guess it makes it more vulnerable. I wouldn't be surprised if he's expecting melters. But melters into these phoenixes is actually not good. And he can still hit elite. I decide to go for another two fortresses in a hope to get the production of fangs going quickly enough. Um, and get something hitting the towers. I go for fire, he goes for oil. He has a Vulcan right here. And he decides to add more phoenixes. Honestly, now I think is the time where we should no longer put these at the front. The marksmen have EMP, so these things should just die for absolutely free. They don't accomplish anything significant here. Like you can see, uh, they are being hit. And then the marksmen EMP them, and then they don't go back to revive. Once again, fire does actually land. And my army is pushing through. I get some crawlers through here, but this thing is in the way. And the only things that are doing decent damage against it, unless it's EMP'd of course, are the fortresses. I have almost broken through all of the ground on this side. Another rocket punch would have hit the tower, but unfortunately the sandworm was in the way. If that had been a level 1 sandworm, I think it would have actually worked. Whether or not that would have meant the victory for me is another question that I cannot answer right now. But for the moment, it is not working. There is not enough left here. My opponent gets a tower and shoots all of my units. And these phoenixes are leveling like nobody's business. And this sandworm is living like nobody's business. It is the final round. Lightning storm for both players. Nukes, I think, are too easy to shield against. Lightning Storm is better, especially if your opponent has a lot of air units, and I guess my opponent is thinking the same with my Mustangs. Intensive training being used to its fullest. Level 5, level 6, level 9 Mustangs have been on the board uh, on, the, on this final round. We are both down very much into kill light range. Like, at this point, it doesn't even matter if it's 1 HP or 700. You will just die if you lose a round, I guess. Unless it's ultra close. My opponent hits the final button he has on the phoenixes. They are officially max tech phoenixes. There's not really much of a button that I can hit. Maybe I can go for like missile interceptor. But I want these things to shoot the phoenixes and nothing else. I need to find a way to deal with that thing as cheap as possible. So I decide to go for an Acid Scorpion that will weaken this thing and make it possible to kill it. I sold something, I'm not sure what I sold. Maybe it was one of the Arc Lights and decide to get my temporary upgrades. I think it was one of the Sabers. So ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the showdown. And boy, the lightning strikes are hitting hard. <laughs> It is costing me a lot of units, but I was able to prevent fire from landing. This sandworm has eaten some acid. And it is, I think, still in acid. This thing is being killed, and now the path is almost clear. There's one tarantula in the way, gets shot. Actually, on this side, the fortress fist breaks through first, but the second fist follows soon after. And in the end, I am actually able to overcome... 
the absolutely insane quad tech phoenixes. Yikes. Even in this state, they were still doing so much. But now I do actually have some fangs spawning in the rear. And I guess it is working out. I should be accelerating this one. Yeah, that definitely was a good one. Boy. <laughs> Boy, that was a lot of levels and a lot of stuff. This sandworm here, absolutely insane. Even on this side, the sandworm was really, really, really powerful. Uh, the acid, I think, like just this one scorpion for the acid was absolutely worth it. It was, it was doing, or rather not really doing, as you can see, it didn't do all that much damage, but it was uh, helping so much for the rest of my units to just come through. And this is also, I think, a really good example of how to use the Fortress Rocket Punch to just get yourself a tower if the opponent says, I'm going to absolutely not care about the ground war. You can do something similar with the missiles on the Typhoons, because if I'm not mistaken, they only target ground stuff. So if all of the ground stuff has died, they will just go and hit a tower. But yeah, my goodness, this was a game and a half. Uh, literally, like you can play one and a half games uh, in the amount of rounds here. Uh, let's just take this from my opponent's perspective and see what he could have done better. Now, uh, I think I'm still picking the Lightning Storm here. And I don't think leveling these is worth it. I'm not even sure if Elite is worth it, to be honest. So it's super expensive, so I'm going to hold off here. One thing that was not working out is these phoenixes at the front, so I'm just going to sell some of these instead of anything else. Um, let's just definitely get all of these upgrades. And what do I want to do in order to throw a wrench into my own plans here? Maybe the answer is just to go for mass Vulcans. So let me try that. Let's go for extreme Vulcan Phoenix. And um, I guess I don't even have any significant amount of money left. I would have preferred to put range here. Let's just put all of that like here. What do I do with the rest of my money? Is there any good upgrade that I can get? I don't really think so. I guess we'll upgrade something. And you know what? Why don't we put that on this unit? And then... Nothing really here to get. I guess let's go into missiles. And see if we can hit something if it comes through here. Like hit the delayed Mustangs on the side with missiles. See how that works. Oh, I forgot to shield. That's potentially bad. But at the same time, I don't think these Phoenixes are going to care too much about it. Fire is landing, and it's going to burn these Mustangs for a while. Missiles are actually hitting crawlers. Alright, let's see how this is going. That sandworm is very pivotal. I now have more stuff on the ground as well to absorb fortress fists. This is looking good. Not a lot of Mustangs left. Yeah, I think I instantly solved this one. More Mustangs, I think, was the correct call. You have something on the ground to absorb fortress fists. And then you just break through with your phoenixes instead of spending a lot of money on that. Look at the amount of damage. That is insane. All right. That was a quick one. I was able to figure out what to do in the first moment here, which also shows how vulnerable my strategy was, actually. Like, there's a point where there's just too many Vulcans. Too many Vulcans. There's five Vulcans on this board and so many phoenixes. Yeah, I guess this was a quick solution. I didn't even need to shield. Uh, I guess a nuke would have been devastating, though. So maybe I would have had to put that money into shields. But honestly, like, what did I do with that money? Was it put a level on one of these tarantulas? I don't even remember what I did with the 100. Ah, oh, yeah, I threw missiles. That killed some crawlers that would have probably died pretty quickly anyway. Uh, yeah, um, so I guess uh, I would have had to use some money on shields. So maybe one less Vulcan. Maybe that would have changed something. But at the same time. You know, what does it really matter? Thanks for watching and listening, and I hope you enjoyed this one.